They just stick and poke and so put together. Use their yeah. imagination. Absolutely. Right From the calming classrooms to the state of the art playground, <laughs> Congressman John Yarmouth got a first hand look at how the Auburndale Learning Academy is equipping the next generation for success. Making an enormous investment uh, in, in early childhood education so that every child in the country has access to uh, a strong foundation like uh, is provided here. The Democratic congressman had a hand in getting the more than $660,000 in federal stimulus money to the Greater Louisville Head Start program. Some of the funds will improve the agency's older facilities and maintain new ones like the Learning Academy on South 3rd Street. Here kids begin receiving high quality education and development at just six weeks old. In areas of the country where they do have early childhood education, they've had to rewrite the curriculum for high school because the kids are so much more advanced than the kids were before they took these programs. The program also helps families address financial and child care challenges. And with the federal funds bringing Head Start services back to pre-COVID times, it's sure to bring parents more relief. It also provides families with that chance and opportunity to go out and do more for themselves, giving parents that opportunity to find work, to find employment, to find education so they can better their lives for their children. While further bridging the achievement gap among youth with the Auburndale Learning Academy, the federal funds will also pay a Head Start program teachers a livable wage. The ARP will give us a chance, the American Rescue Plan will give us a chance to really look at recruitment and retention bonuses to really hire high quality staff to provide high quality child care. A critical program shaping Louisville's future leaders being championed by the current ones. In Congress, many of us believe is that uh, we have an obligation to future generations. Alexis Matthews, WOKY News.